Lawnmower Boy wrote a letter to Obama too, but the response he got was very different. 11-year-old Frank Giaccio first made headlines in August when a letter he wrote to President Donald Trump was read aloud by White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders at a daily press briefing. We've now learned that Frank also penned a letter to former President Barack Obama, but he received a very different response. This summer, the White House began the new tradition of reading aloud some of the letters President Trump receives from children. In August, Press Secretary Sarah Sanders read Frank's note in which he offered to mow the lawn at the executive residence free of charge, even though he usually charges his clients eight dollars. Dear Mr. President, Frank wrote in his letter, I would, it would be in my honor to mow the White House lawn some weekend for you, even though I'm only ten, I would like to show the nation what young people like me are ready for. I admire your business background and have started my own business. I have been mowing my neighbors' lawn for some time. Please see the attached flyer. Here's a list of what I have, and you are free to pick whatever you want. A power mower, push mower, and weed whacker. I can bring extra fuel for the power mower and charged batteries for the weed whacker. I will do this at no charge. The, this is uh, Catriona Perry, the at White House circulated the following letter from Frank, age 10, who has offered to mow the lawn for the president. On Friday, Frank's wish came true when President Trump invited him to the White House to cut the grass in the Rose Garden. As the maturity of his letter suggests, he was so focused on the task at hand that at first he didn't even notice the president had appeared on the lawn to give him a high five for a job well done. Frank received a ton of media attention this week and on Saturday. He was even invited to sit down for an interview with one of the most popular morning shows in the country. It was during this interview that he revealed his letter to Trump was not the first of its kind. Frank had also penned one to Obama before he left office although he received a much different response. On Saturday, Giaccio made an appearance on Fox & Friends to discuss his experience during the interview. Giaccio said mowing the lawn for the president was a dream come true and it was really, really cool to meet Trump. Then Giaccio revealed Trump wasn't the only president he's written a letter to about mowing the lawn at the White House. Well, my last one, which went to President Obama, I got a letter back, but I knew it wasn't handwritten, so I knew that this, was, this one was actually better when Sarah took it to the briefing room, Frank said during his appearance on Fox News. No wonder Obama never invited Frank to the White House. He was too busy hosting Black Lives Matter and Clock Boy. Obama and his supporters are not known to extend themselves in service of their country. They're the types no, the, the notorious for taking government handouts. The concept of a young boy actually offering to do something for free in service of his country was no doubt a repulsive notion to the former president. It's really no surprise that Trump did so much more for Frank than Obama did. After all, Trump is one of the world's most successful business entrepreneurs. It's easy to see how he would have been moved by the initiative of such a young boy to start a business of his own. Obama, on the other hand, has made his millions on the backs of other people. He also hates capitalism with a passion. Uh, we know that. Yes, we know that. Let's take a, list, a quick listen here. It was an 11-year-old's dream come true when he got to cut the grass on the White House lawn. This is Frank. He's going to be very famous. 
going to be a Navy SEAL someday. We're going to do great things for our country. Thank you, man. You take care of yourself, okay? So adorable. Joining us now is Frank Giaccio. Frank, good morning. Thanks for being with us. Good morning, buddy. Hey. So hey. how exciting was that? We said it's a dream come true. Was it for you? Was it a dream come true to mow the lawn? Yeah, it really was, especially when the president came over. Yeah, what were you? So we want, we all saw the video. You're 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 cutting that straight line down the lawn, and then off to your side, up comes you know just the president of the United States. But you know, Frank, you just kept mowing. You know, <laughs> I mean, were you that focused on your mission? Shy. Well, I knew that he was like. So let me put it this way: I knew that he was very impressed, and I thought he wanted to be going with me, so I kept mowing. But he gave me a couple comments, so it was actually pretty cool when he came up. What did, <laughs> he, say, awesome. what did he say to you when he came up to you? He said, great job, great job, keep going. Yeah. So, wow, that's pretty cool. special. I mean, what does that mean to you? I mean, are you someone that has followed President Trump and his campaign? I mean, how special was it for you to be there and for him to come talk to you? It was really, really, really cool. Cool. I can imagine. <laughs> Frank the Tank, I'm going to call you. Let's talk about your business. Uh, you're a businessman. That's why you identify with President Trump, and you got a pretty good thing going there. Tell us about it. Yeah, so I have two and a half Nate, um, clients. Nice. And the half, I mean, some people just pop up, so right. if I'll do it for them really quick, but they're not my everyday customers. Okay, so looking ahead for your business, this is a lot of publicity. The whole nation is watching you mow the White House lawn. Do you think you're going to grow? Yeah, I should. You should? <laughs> I, I, well, I would think so, Frank, but you also got to go inside the White House, right? You got to go in the Oval Office and the press yeah. briefing room. Tell us what that was like. Well, it was really cool. Especially in the president said very few people get to come in there who are just visitors. Well, that's very true. I mean, you don't just waltz into the Oval Office, that's for sure. Especially now with John Kelly there, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, you you, uh, you landed there because you wrote the president a letter. You wrote him a letter saying, I want to mow the White House lawn. Where did that idea come from? And did you ever think the president would actually answer your letter? Well, my last one, which went to President Obama, I got a letter back, but I don't. But I knew it wasn't handwritten. Mm-hmm. So I knew that this one was actually better when Sarah took it to the briefing room. There you go. What a fun experience. Frank, good luck with your business. Thanks so much for being with us. Great job, man. Thank you. A awesome big story. fun. There's a big difference, right? Big difference. Anyway, what would we expect from Obama? Obama wasn't here to uh, make the country better. He was just there to line his pockets on, again, the back of the taxpayers. That's all he did. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.